This Peru 1702 Ada Scudos isn't just any coin. It's a mint state masterpiece from the reign of Philip V, one of only two found by Bob Johnson. On Memorial Day 1964, when treasure hunter Bob Johnson discovered two 1702 Limas nestled in a disintegrated chest mixed with some other gold cobs, I mean, can you imagine the thrill of unearthing a treasure trove like that? Bob kept one Ada Scudos for his personal collection and sold the other. This very coin through Real 8 Company to legendary collector Xavier Calico. It remained hidden in a private Spanish collection for 50 years before being revealed to the world again. Look how this piece is struck on such a large round planchet. It features a magnificent new bourbon crown. These crowns were introduced in 1702 alongside the iconic Philippus inscription. Just look at that almost perfect pillar centering. The details are bold and sharp, truly a testament to its remarkable preservation. The world was changing with the death of Carlos II. This design reflects the time of transition. The crown is the new bourbon crown, first appearing in Lima, along with the Philippus and the legend on the obverse. This 1702 is very probably one of the issues struck in late August. The other 1702 found by Bob Johnson shows the older style Habsburg crown of Carlos II. Word of Carlos's death reached Lima in early 1701. However, the design changes were implemented very slowly. On the top, we have the L8H, telling us this Lima was struck under the essayer Captain Francisco Hurtado, the first gold essayer at the Lima Mint. On the bottom, we have the 702. Unlike the other 1702, this die had the new and correctly sized punches. This 1702 Escudos isn't just a piece of currency. It's a glimpse into the bygone era of adventure and exploration in the quest for wealth. The state of Florida has no 1702 Escudos of any denomination in its collection. 